Hello, my name is Darren and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing another kidney disease uh, update and I'm going to talk about how um, kidney disease affects my family. <laughs> a number of videos of how uh, chronic kidney disease has uh, affected me but today I thought I would do a video about how um, my chronic illness has impacted my wife and my son but instead of um, me talking about it I'm gonna let them talk about it themselves from my perspective um, I know it's been uh, very hard on them and I know that they've both had to take on additional responsibilities because I've been unable to. I'm just unable to do things like I used to. And because I do not work, my, my, my wife has had to take the main financial burden and become the main breadwinner of the family. That is probably an obvious strain on her. I cannot plan things, or we cannot plan things as I don't know how I'm going to be feeling from day to day. And that must be a frustration. Plus my, my, <clears throat> my foggy brain and my mood swings obviously have an impact on the family. And it's probably even worse on my son, who I can't play with as much or spend time with as much because I'm just not physically able to. Socialising and going out is just really difficult, you know, so we can't plan those sorts of things. But don't take my word for it. Here is my interview with each of them just to see what their opinion is. Oh, that's a very good question. <clears throat> um, yeah, I do feel stressed. Um, stress of not knowing what's going to happen. Um, stressed with day-to-day -day life situations, really. Um, it's just a very stress stressful situation to be in because because it's so unknown. You know, um, don't know. It, it's hard for me to describe, really. Um, I do find it very stressful. Um, just for the just for the simple fact that you know, doing certain things is more of an effort. You know, um, because like Darren has a foggy brain um, quite a lot of the time and that can be very stressful, especially when we're in the supermarket and we're picking something out for tea, you know, and he'll spend half an hour deciding which bloody tomatoes to have or which lettuce to go for or should we go for this? And then we get halfway around and then he says, Oh, I don't want that anymore. I've changed my mind. I'll go for it. So then it's another half an hour that we're waiting. And same with like takeaways, anything like that. Takeaway situation, another half an hour waiting to decide what. So it could be quite stressful at times, I can tell you. Um, whenever we go on a holiday, picking a holiday des destination, that's very stressful. Um, so yeah, so that's a kind of different kind of stress really um as for everyday stress yes it is stressful because it's the unknown it's not knowing what's going to happen um you know so yeah and um, i guess what worries or stresses me quite a lot of the time is um the financial side of things um because darren um, doesn't work because um, he's now retired. He took early retirement due to ill health, um, so hasn't worked for a good while. So, um, yeah, the financial side is quite a burden, um, can be quite a burden to be honest, um, because it, it's 
just on my wages. Now I only work part time as it is, um, you know, um, so I don't get a lot of money in. And the money that I do get in obviously has to go to all the household bills, the rent, the food, the, the car. Um, so yeah, so that's that can be quite worrying sometimes wondering whether we've got enough money um so it would be nice if darren had a job but unfortunately he can't you know but we make do with what we've got you know we've got each other we've got oscar you know and family's more important than anything you know if we will always muddle through it's not the end of the world um you know i mean a lot of people say oh, I wish I had this much money and we could do this and we could do that. Don't get me wrong, I wish we had loads of money, you know, and we could have our own house and not worry or stress about anything, you know. But we don't. And, you know, we we don't have the luxuries that maybe some people do or that some people would like. Um, you know, we save for a while, um, for us to go on holidays and things like that. So yeah, so that, you know, it can be quite stressful um, and worrying, knowing whether we've got enough money coming in or not. But like I said, you know, money's not everything. Family's more important. And as long as we've got each other, that's all that matters. Yes, a bit. But, well, it's hard to describe, really. I feel stressed as in like we have to do more um uh, when you have kidney failure cuz when when you go to the doctors um like every 2 months or so that um and I have to get get up um early and stuff like that and also it stresses me because um we're not able to do the things like we used to and stuff, yeah, like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I do because 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 he's always just. I mean, Daddy's just um, always so tired and everything, and yeah. I think what upsets me most is that you can't do the things that you want to do. Um, you know, Darren would like to do so many things and he just can't do them. He's just not got the energy to do it. Um, so that's very upsetting. Um, and also, I think the fact that... Um, that obviously Darren had a kidney transplant that didn't work. You know, that's quite upsetting. <laughs> um, just because, you know, we thought, uh, I don't know why I'm getting emotional, but I am. <laughs> but um, just for the fact that, you know, he got the phone call and it was like, yes, brilliant, you know, he's going to have a transplant. Everything's going to be fine, everything's going to be all roses, or unicorns, you know, all singing, all dancing. And then, unfortunately, Darren didn't get the kidney that he hoped for. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was upsetting. Definitely. He made things... <laughs> he made things a lot more harder. Um, a lot more stressful. So, mm. anyway, <laughs> that's it. I can't talk anymore. <laughs> what uh, upsets me most is that um, I know what he's going through and what he's feeling, and I. And I know, and um, yeah, I just know. And 
also, what upsets and frustrates me most is that you can get angry over the tiniest little thing. Of course I'm worried that something will happen to Darren, to you. Yeah. You know, it, um, you know, you've had a kidney transplant that obviously didn't work, which is one of those things that happens. You're not the only one, you know. Um, but it's, I think it's more of not knowing. Um, we know that the inevitable is going to happen eventually. It's just a case of pro prolonging it. Um, you're gonna get me crying again. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just prolonging it, really. Um, you know, I don't want anything to happen to to Darren at all. You know, um, I don't want anything to happen to Darren at all. You know, it's my everything. Um, but, yeah, I do worry. I'm always worried, and no matter what you say, I will always um, be worried. Because I don't want anything to happen to you. Because you're my daddy, and I love you very much. No. I don't feel neglected in the slightest. Um, you know, Darren gives me his love as much as he possibly can do, you know. So, no, I don't feel neglected. I think, I think neglected is a harsh word to use, really. Um, but no, I don't feel neglected. Um, I've got a lot of support, you know, either with it, being Darren himself or whether it be um, the Facebook site, the kidney website um, on Facebook, it's absolutely fantastic. If anybody's got any problems or they just want to ask just a simple question, I advise you to go on there because they're a great bunch of people. Um, you know, and I've also got the friend, m my family support, they support me quite a lot, um, you know, so yeah. I don't think I'm ne I don't think I'm neglected at all. No, not at all. Because I feel like I'm as much a part of this as anyone else. Oh, that's quite a qu tough question. I don't feel let down. Not. Not in the slightest, because obviously, you know, you've got this problem, you know, and at the end of the day, that comes first, unfortunately. Um, I don't feel let down. Um, no, I don't, no, I, I'd say I don't feel let down. I think the things that probably frustrate me more about it, more than anything, would be um, the fact that we can't do things as much as we used to do. You know, I mean, me and Darren travelled the world for six months, which was amazing and great fun, and out came the product of our son, Oscar. <laughs> but, um, you know, now he's got kidney failure, you know, we can't do those things as, as, as much because, he just gets too tired um, and that, you know. Um, I think into, into some, in, oh God, I can't think of the word. Intimacy is quite a very big issue as well. Um, you know, Darren's obviously always tired all the time, you know, so we can't be intimate with each other as, as much as maybe I'd like or he would like, you know. Um, but it is what it is. It's not, you know, it's not all about sex and everything else, you know. It's having that relationship where you trust each other. Um, and you can be open with each other. And I think me and Darren 
do that, you know, because I understand him, you know, I understand where he's coming from, you know, it's just nice just to snuggle up and have a kiss and a cuddle, um, so yeah, there you go. I already answered that kind of in the first question, so, and the answer was yeah, because um, we don't do things like we used to, like, we don't play with each other as much. I would definitely like to do more things with Daddy, but but he's just always too tired and, like, for example, sports and stuff. We never do anything and we never um, play catch or anything like that. And we never go outside into the field um, to play football or anything like that. So, yeah. I don't think Darren's a burden in the slightest, no. Um, if I thought it was a burden, I certainly wouldn't be married to him and I wouldn't be living with him, that's for sure. Um, don't get me wrong, we have our ups and we have our downs. Um, I think the thing, if anything, um, possibly I wouldn't say is a burden, but one of the other things that really frustrates me um, about Darren is his temper um, because the different medication that Darren's on um, it affects his moods quite considerably um, he can be nice as pie one minute you could maybe say something and he completely take it the wrong way and blow up in your face the next you know um, so yeah so that is a really big issue with with Darren um, is his mood swings. If I could take those away, I would be one happy bunny. <laughs> so if anybody's got a cure out there for, for mood swings, you know, give us a ring. Let me know. <laughs> a tiny bit, yeah. A tiny bit. And that's as much as honest that, as I can get. But, but, yeah, just the tiniest bit. Because... As I said um, in a previous question, uh, we have to go to the doctors and stuff all the time, and it takes up a lot of time, but obviously I don't care about that because I don't really do much. <laughs> um, but I'm sure it affects um, Mummy more than it does me, so yeah. Oh, my opinion on kidney disease. Um, oh, well, it's it's underestimated. A lot of people don't think kidney disease is a is a big issue, is a big problem, um, but they're completely wrong. You know, it's it's a big problem out there. A lot of people have it, um, and it's one of those problems that nobody knows about. You know. You could be walking down the street and you can come across 10, 20, 30 people that have got kidney failure and you wouldn't even know it. Um, you know, so at the end of the day, kidney disease is a serious problem. You know, people go on the transplant list to get a kidney, um, which will, you know, help prolong their outcome, which is great. Some people go on dialysis, again, they just prolong in the outcome, but it's a form of life support. Um, you know, people don't realise that. They think, oh, you're all right, you're on dialysis, you, you know, you're going to live forever, or, or you've had a transplant, you're going to live for forever. That's not the case, you know. Um, it's just literally a life support. It's to keep you going for as long as you possibly can until your kidneys give up, basically. Um and I don't think a lot of people realise that, which is such a shame. And I think it should be more advertised about kidney failure, kidney disease um, and things like that. So, yeah. My opinion on kidney disease is it's a terrible thing and nobody should ever deserve to have it. Um, even if they're the worst criminal in the world, no one should deserve to have it.
I don't think there's enough support out there for kidney patients whatsoever. I think people with kidney failure, kidney disease, whatever you want to call it, I think they need a lot more support than they are actually given. And, you know, don't get me wrong, the, the kidney site, um, they do do, they do try and do, um, and try and help as much as they can do, you know, um, Darren needed counselling not so long ago, um, because he was very depressed, which is, you know, one of the problems that he has, um, you know, and, and can affect us with his depression, um, and he just needed someone else to talk to and he went to the doctors and the doctors put him on the the list for counselling and I don't know it must be nearly a year possibly and he's still waiting on that list for counselling and it was only by luck and by chance that Darren actually posted on the Facebook site um, asking people if they knew of any any way or any how of getting counselling and it was a lady, I think it was a lady from um, the kidney care unit, um, kidney charity, that got in contact and said, look, you know, we do provide counselling for people like you, um, which I think was great. So in that respect of support, I think it's good. You know, on the doctor's side of it, I think, well, basically, I think it's crap because <laughs> they don't listen to you. They don't listen to your problems. You know, Darren's voiced his problems so many times to the doctors and it seems to go in, in, in one ear and out the other ear. Um, so I don't think the support's there whatsoever for people and I think there should be a lot more support. No, definitely not. Um, people don't understand what people... Um, with kidney disease go through every day and and they just don't know so no they don't the only people who really give them enough support is kidneycare.uk and they're a nice bunch of people who who um know what it's like to to have kidney failure and I really recommend that you do go and check them out because, yeah, if you do have kidney disease. Um, no, I don't think so. I think I've said everything I need to say. Um, I think the only thing I will say is... Um, That I'm very proud and I love and respect my husband very much. I'm going to cry again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I'm dead proud of him. You know, he's been through a lot and I just love him loads and I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, thanks. <laughs> no, not really. I'm not very good at, uh, at explaining things anyway. So yeah, all I would like to say is that Daddy is the w most wonderful daddy in the entire world. Bye. <laughs> so, um, watching that is quite upsetting, really. Uh, it's made me think, and I suspected quite a lot of it, but actually seeing Simone cry when talking about it has made me quite emotional myself. It was, it did bring a tear to my eye and made, made me think, you know, that this disease doesn't just affect me, you know, it affects both of them as well. And that's what people don't realise about chronic illness. Not only does it affect a person that's ill, that it can affect those closest to them as, as well. And it just tears me up inside that I that I'm doing that to them you know um, I find it very upsetting you know and depressing myself that my illness impacts on their life I just so wish 
that I didn't have this horrible disease and that we could go back to the way things were when before I was before I had it. I'd love to do all the things that I used to. I'd love not to have mood swings. I would love not to be tired. And I would love to work and be the main bread breadwinner. And I just yeah, oh, it's just it, it 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 frustrates me and that watching that watching their answers watching you know that their art that interview has made me you know think it think twice anyway i think i'll leave the video there um uh, it's because i'm losing my voice because i've you know i've still got a bit of a cold and i've had this cold for uh, uh you know over a week now so i'll leave the video there but let me know what you think in the comments you know, are you or are your family struggling to cope or are you um, struggling to cope with one of your um, family members who has a chronic illness? Let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. And if you like the video, then please zap that like button. And also, if you want to, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel as well if you want to see more videos like this. Cheerio. Bye for now. See ya. Oh, that flashy light is a bit bright, isn't it? I know what you mean now. You have to let me know when you're recording. Okay. Hello. Um, my chronic illness um, impacts my wife. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Yep, I think so. I think so. Do you like the air, by the way? Yeah, it's yeah. lovely. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm ready. <coughs> yep, I think I'm ready for the questions. Right. Bring it on. Um, do you want to make mad, passionate love to me? That's not <laughs> one of the questions! <laughs> oh my god. Leave that in! <laughs> It's just got the babies now. Babies! <laughs> I just want to check something. The thing that upsets and frustrates um, me most is that every if every little thing, Stop. your thing is flashing. Right there. Yes, fine. <laughs> right. How has me having kidney disease affected you? Uh, <laughs> um, can't think of an answer. Okay, do you feel more stressed because I have kidney disease?